Hi everybody, this is Renee from Paramount Solutions in Orlando, Florida. We are a small, privately owned psychic service. We book psychic readings by phone. We do test our readers before they can join us. We've been in business for over 25 years. We love what we do. We are based on repeat clients. Um, usually our clients call back because we actually offer a very valuable service. Um, we also have excellent readers. They are all clairvoyant, accurate. Some of them use tarot cards. Some of them are psychic mediums. We usually have somebody that'll work for you. So call us at 1-800-966-2294. I wanted to go over a little bit today about developing your own psychic abilities. Um, it's actually a lifelong journey and we wanted to help you figure out your ways of getting into being more psychic and more intuitive. Um, one of the things that we do is we always recommend that you pay attention to your very first instinct. Your first instinct is usually your intuitive instinct, um, and sometimes thinking and maybe letting emotions get in there can actually in, like influence and get in the way of your real intuition. So definitely pay attention to your first instinct. We also uh, want you to learn to control your fear of psychic abilities. Um, we understand that it can be a little bit nerve-wracking at first um, when you're starting to learn, but and we actually hear from people all the time saying they're nervous. We just want to, and it's very understandable being nervous because sometimes people are getting spirits around and that can be a little little bit nerve wracking. Um, but learning to have faith in yourself and your instinct, it really is a gift and your intuition is a gift uh, from the universe for yourself to use. And so we wanted to just let you know, have faith and let the fear go. <laughs> um, we also want you to know that um, your psychic development may take some time. Um, as we get older, our psychic abilities actually get stronger because we have more life experience. We kind of understand emotions and what our symbols are in order to translate what could possibly be happening with our intuition. But remember, it's a journey, it's not a destination. There are many times that you, that you won't feel your intuition and sometimes those are times when you maybe are super tired, have chronic stress, um, some sort of big emotional event, uh, life changes. Those can all inhibit your intuition. Um, a lot of the readers can actually read through that and that actually, when they are reading, they actually end up more comfortable in that situation. But when you're learning, it can be a little bit more difficult to be intuitive when you're going through a really stressful situation. Um, also, a lot of people, when they are close to someone, like um, let's say if you're reading for yourself or if you're reading from a very good friend or a very close family member, um, that can actually also get in the way of a psychic ability, psych your psychic ability. That's why a lot of people like to call us and a lot of psychic readers actually call us is because it, we, are, we have excellent readers and it can also help, um, we can actually answer questions that maybe the reader can't get from themselves. If you're too close to the situation, your own thoughts and you know energies will get in the way of a really good intuitive advice, if that makes any sense. We always want you to honor yourself, have faith in yourself, take time to meditate, eat healthy, get fresh air, love yourself. Um, these are all ways to enhance your psychic ability and it will actually give you some more confidence. Confidence is actually the key in what separates a good psychic from a great psychic. So having, you know, just taking some time for yourself, loving yourself, definitely have faith in yourself, honor yourself. These are a way to actually make you more intuitive. Um, Another thing that gets in the way of psychic abilities is putting away, we want you to put away too much thinking and too many preconceived notions. Um, both will in inhibit your intuition and your psychic abilities. Double thinking and judging are just two ways to in inhibit your own confidence and your own predictions and your future, or in your intuition, sorry about that. It doesn't necessarily inhibit your future, it's your intuition. Um, we want you to know that free will also happens. Uh, situations are constantly evolving and evolving situations must include evolving intuitive guidance. Every situation evolves. People change their minds, different things happen, and it will definitely change you know, your situation. In order to keep your intuition fresh and give the best advice, we do recommend to clear your energy, which we have actually talked about in the past. I'll try to link the, video, the YouTube video below on how to clear your energy because that can definitely help you. Um, there are many, many, many different ways to clear your energy, and you just need to find one that works for you that can kind of break that up. Um, we actually always recommend if you're looking to read for other people, not to read without their consent. Always ask somebody, this is very, very important, before trying to read for somebody, always ask them if it's okay. Um, it's actually a little bit of a faux pas and a little bit rude to read someone without their consent. Um, it can mess with your intuition and your predictions, but it can also, um, if you're in somebody's energy like that, it's just kind of, you definitely want to ask them before doing a reading. Plus, you do want to protect yourself from negative energies also, which can also come through if you're, if you're being intrusive on someone's face. So definitely be sure to ask anyone that you want to read for before ahead of time. 
Uh, we always recommend that you journal. Um, it helps you pay attention and focus on your, your very first instinct, as we said before, but it also helps you look back and realize which predictions have been correct. Um, you will definitely want to, you know, journal all your first thoughts or hunch hunches about a person or a situation, because then you can tell how accurate you are in the future. Another thing that can kind of inhibit psychic abilities and that you can actually, in order to center yourself, we actually recommend getting off social media to, you know, to, in order to listen to your intuition. Social media is great. We love it. I do a lot of it here and it's always fun. I love to check Facebook and YouTube and all my different blogs and all that stuff. Um, but in order to really truly listen to your intuition, you do need to get off social media for a little bit. Um, it's fun, but it can actually inhibit your thoughts and you, know, and you really want some free flowing thoughts uh, without outside forces in order to hone in on your intuition and psychic abilities. We hope that helps. If you have any questions, please call us at 1-800-966-2294. We have very, very, very helpful readers. Um, we have relationship readers, business type readers, whatever type you're looking for, we can usually help you out. We always uh, love to hear from our clients, past, present, and future clients. So call us at 1-800-966-2294. We would love to help you.